What's going on guys, VVP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I've gotten so many messages from the last video talking about the ultimate handheld. This one, we're gonna be doing an overview on the ultimate handheld. So if you see like on my last video, I discussed basically the basics of this handheld and I'm getting a lot of people, a lot of questions, a lot of DMs. So it's perfectly fine. Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Vic underscore VP. I could help guide you on it, honestly. Um, I've sent people the link. Like I said, uh, shout out to you from Better Gaming for honestly doing a whole step-by-step -step guide because I followed his videos. Um, on this one though, let's just do a basic overview exactly what this is and what it does. And honestly, if you are looking to do this to your device, big major key things to keep in mind. All right, so I'm gonna start off the bat, okay? This is the, this is the biggest thing you need to understand, especially if you do it yourself. Um, there are ways that basically you could do this and still use your device online. There are talks of if you do that though, you do possibly get banned. Um, again, I don't need to explain too much on it, but keep in mind what you're doing to this device, you're really not supposed to. So just keep that in mind, that is number one. If you, are, if, if you or your kids are using this device, mainly a lot you don't want to do this to your device if you were like me where this was in like a drawer maybe you want to consider it maybe you want to look into it and maybe you want to do it to the device but if you are somebody that is a member of this device and if you paid for the online subscription and all that to use it you don't really want to do it you could follow use videos and he tells you basically how you could have all these features and still use online capability me personally, I'm telling everybody, it's it's a 50-50 chance you may or may not get noticed and you may or may not get banned for it. So that is number one, keep that in mind. The other thing I keep telling people, as you can see, there is an app to access the shop. No, you can't play these games online. Um, understand that just like how PC emulation and all that, you cannot play these games online. That is a big thing that a lot of people are not understanding. You can't play these games online, so keep that in mind. The last and final thing I'm telling everybody, because people still don't understand it from my video. This device is considered, again, a tethered jailbreak. What that basically means is that, in layman's terms, you can't turn this device off. You could, but if you do power off this device, you do need to connect it to a computer. I will show you in later videos. This, again, is just an overview to show you everything that this thing could do and giving you a heads up of things that could possibly happen while you have this, okay? So again, the biggest thing though is if the battery dies on this, if you or your kids are playing it, you don't monitor the battery and the battery dies, you do need to connect it to a PC or you have to get the loader to bring it back to life. If, and I'm gonna do it right now because this is my device, I'm home, I'm by my PC. If the device does turn off, power off, turn off, you could hold this down for two hours, it will not turn on. You are doing stuff to the SD card, you are doing stuff to the actual internals on this that basically now, as you can see, you cannot turn it on unless you actually connect it to a PC or if you get the loader. That is the biggest thing I'm telling people because somebody messaged me and was like, Vic, I saw your video, I did it, now my thing doesn't turn on. Ah, do your research. That is number one, as you can see right now, I am stuck until I connect it to my PC. Yes, you could get the loader. You will have to know how to create this loader is what I'm gonna say. Um, but me personally, I'm always, I'm, I'm telling everybody to do what I do and use the PC route. That to me is the easiest, flawless way of doing it. But as you can see right now, I'm dead. So if you were on a flight playing this and it died, unless you bought the charger with you, and honestly right now, airplanes have chargers so you shouldn't forget your charger. But if this device powers down, I am now stuck. Some people might freak out. Oh no, it's a paperweight now. No, you just now need to understand how to bring it back to life. So now real quick, I'm gonna show you live right now. I'll even turn the camera around later on, but I'm gonna just show you what I do basically. Again, I have the program set. All I literally have to do is connect my device to the PC. And now I brought it back to life but I have to bring it back to the front end or the main system. That kind of is the back end to it. 
I'm gonna let this kind of boot up. But as you can see, the way I did it, I, it's, it's very easy. You plug it in, you gotta start the program, obviously on your PC, and it will then turn on and boot. There are though, and I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna try to get it, there has been instances where it doesn't boot, even though what I did now, basically if you do see that icon, the logo I should say, that is a good sign. I'm gonna blur it out on the camera because I don't wanna get hit with anything, but basically if you see that logo, it's good. If you didn't see that logo, don't panic. You just have to hold, like disconnect it from the PC and then hold the power button down for about 45 seconds, let go, and then try it again. So just keep that in mind. That is the biggest thing, honestly, that I am telling everybody about this is the tethered. Way back when like iPhones, you know, like the first two came out, I tethered my iPhone to get all the apps and all the ringtones and all that. And yes, that was a tethered jailbreak. So if the phone actually died, you had to then go into the PC and start a program to bring it back to life. So just keep that in mind when you are doing this, this is considered a tethered jailbreak. Yes, Amazon sells a device that you could buy. I haven't tested this device. I, I don't even wanna look at it. The way I have this set right now, it's just so easy for me to do it. I, I just do it like that. So just keep that in mind. Again, the biggest thing to understand with this device, you cannot play it online. If you do use this device on the daily, like regular, I do not suggest that you do this modification because you could get banned from the company. And the last thing obviously is if the battery or if you turn off this device, you, your kids, you do need to connect it to a PC. If you can't understand those main three rules, do not even look at this. Don't even, don't even attempt it. Just save your time, don't even attempt it. So let's go into it real quick. Let's break it down on the main features of this. Uh, you know, we'll see what it can do, and I've been telling people what can't it do, but let's not go too crazy. Emulation is still working on it. You loaded up Dolphin, which is a Wii GameCube emulator. I haven't touched that. I do not plan to play that on the system. This could not play N64 Gold and I, so I'm not sure how great it's gonna play a Game Boy game, a GameCube game. So just keep that in mind. Again, the main thing, the first thing is this device, you all know it. Basically, I'm gonna not show you the server name, but basically you'll have access to the entire library of this device using a main app. Again, I didn't wanna show you the server name. The app isn't the big thing. This is kinda of like Kodi. You have Kodi app and then you need to get the servers to get access to this. So as you can see, you have quite a wide plethora of games just for this system alone. Again, just this system alone, these are the games that were made for this system alone. Again, you cannot play these games online, please. Just, you can't play these games online, just keep that in mind, okay? So that is number one. I mean, I don't know how many games were created for the system, but as you could see, I mean, I even made the squares like small. It's, I don't even know how many games are on it, but that is just a quarter of what this thing could do, okay? The second thing, is basically launching into the back end and this will run this will run RetroArch. RetroArch just like my arcade builds, you could play classic Super Nintendo, N64, Atari, arcade stuff again on the go. That is the biggest thing. Again, if you watched my last video, I wanted to play some Super Mario World, even you know, the Game Boys. I never I wanted to play I younger when I was younger, I wanted a Game Boy Advance, never had it. And now I could play and I have 1100 Game Boy Advance games at my fingertips. So this right here is retro emulation. This company just came out with an app or I should say a yearly subscription that gives you like seven games. Uh, I would just say screw your seven games because I have 785 of those games. So again, me personally, I take this on the go to travel. I, I'm not looking at any internet at all. You can't use it. I'm not into the online stuff for this specifically. This is for me to be on an airplane and enjoy some classic gaming that I grew up with, okay? Again, on this, you could play your retro stuff and you do have arcade emulation. If you see my last video, I explained the whole thing about the two-player Joy-Cons, which is why I dubbed this the ultimate console. Last and final thing that you could do on this, and it's something that is still, to me, in the works and I'm still testing. I'm actually gonna be doing a lot of testing today is this does run PSP, you know, the PlayStation Portable. This runs the emulator for that. Me, personally, I only have a handful of games. I 
Honestly, I have a flight next week. My main thing was to play Grand Theft Auto. That was number one. I wanted to play Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto works with it. Not all PSP games work. For example, you see I have God of War. It did not run on this. So also keep in mind, this is not a PC. It will not run all emulation flawlessly. You will get hiccups. I've been telling that to everybody. People see PSP and they go, oh, I'm getting stutter. It's not meant, you know, you get, you, you get what you get. So just keep that in mind. Honestly, that is mostly it. Those are the three main functions. They might sound small, three, eh. If you do focus and watch Yu's video, he is doing a lot more stuff that I personally don't need. Um, his other thing that he did discover is that you could install Android on this. So now you have Google Play Store. You could basically load up social media. You wanna do YouTube on it. You could do that on this device. Me, personally, I'm not into that. I, I use my cell phone for that. I'm not into that unless you wanna do Google Play Store. He did show like Call of Duty Mobile on this, which is pretty cool. Again, me personally, I don't, I have no, no reason for it. Other stuff too, like I said, this, this is how people work. These kind of, you know, geniuses behind all of this whole modding scene. They keep adding stuff. Like I said, he just downloaded and put in Ubuntu and you can now put Wii emulation and GameCube emulation with Dolphin. It just keeps going and going. But again, the biggest, 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 biggest thing is that you do have the entire library. And like I said in my video, this right here was the biggest deal. Just being able to be on an airplane, take a handheld and go two player mode on this. That is the biggest reason why I highly suggest doing this and making it the ultimate handheld. Big VP Game Case Arcade, stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing a whole thing on this. I'm getting a lot of people questioning and all that. I do wanna help you. You're gonna see basically, um, if you do this, how do you turn it on? Uh, I'm gonna be doing a whole RetroArch tutorial, a whole PSP tutorial, and if the system turns off, what to do. Big VP Game Case Arcades, I'm enjoying my handheld.